Hello everybody, it's the Alolan Clasher here, and today's video, we are going to be going over a new deck profile, and one that's, uh, just won the Masters and Worlds, which is Gardevoir GX. This deck is going to be amazing, it already is amazing, even with losing VS Seeker and everything, it's still going to be a top tier deck. It'll probably, you'll see it at a ton of big tournaments, and I just want to profile it here in the channel. So, I do not have all the cards for this deck, disclaimer. Because um, Gardevoirs are $15 a piece. So, you will see images on screen. So, hopefully it just goes well with the deck profile. So, first of all, we have Ralts. Um, there we go. Ralts is a basic Pokemon with 60 HP, as you guys can see. Um, there, This is not the only Ralts in the format. There is one in Breakthrough. And, I just... Use this one for re mainly one reason. I opened 18 packs of Burning Shadows and I got all the Ralts from here, so might as well just use them. It has one attack for Fairy, Draining Kiss, 10, and you heal 10 damage from this Pokemon. I don't know. It's still good. It has one more tree cost. The one in Breakthrough has two attacks. One does 10, one does 20. I mean, I don't. The break, the, the, the Ralts is, don't, don't really matter. That's just the beginning evolution. As you guys can see, we're gonna play four of them. So I'll move them up here. I don't know if just please tell me how you guys like the new video format. I got a tripod and I wanted to see how it worked. So I'll put the three rolls, four rolls over there. Next, we're gonna play two copies of the Burning Shadows Curlia. This Curlia, nothing special about it. As you guys can see. Sorry about the glare of the light. Right under a light. Let me just get the glare out of it. I'll lift one up so you guys can see it. Um, 80 damage, 80 health points. Uh, it has smack for 20, and uh, for fairy and a colorist does 30 damage. Has one more tree cost still. Still pretty good. And uh, I didn't use this one. I just used this one because whatever. So and, and also I. I was talking about a breakthrough um, Ralts. There's also breakthrough Curlia. In this deck, I did decide to use one copy of breakthrough Curlia. So you guys can see. Um, quick turn. Flip two coins. This attack does 30 damage for each number of heads. If you can, well, you use this basic card basically for is um, Garbodor. I mean, seriously, you can just put this up and attack Garbodor. Also, this does really well against SBN GX because if you have a choice band on it I mean you're doing 180 damage if you get both flips and that just puts it in like another card's range and also with a card we have in this deck you're, you're not going to be you're, if you use that card early game on all the GX's and EX's it's really going to be easy so now those are all basically the basic evolutions to this and those are somewhat important but not as important as the card I'm about to show you which is Gardevoir GX. This is the new GX from Burning Shadows, the one everyone's talking about. So why is this GX so good? And before I say anything, um, three copies of it. I'm just playing two regular backwards cards. As I said, Gardevoirs are extremely expensive. At $15 a pop, they're going up. So, um... As an ability called Secret Spring, once you during your turn before you attack, you may attach a fairy energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. And it's any of your Pokemon mind that. So you can attach it to the active, the bench. And that way, you know, if let's say I was going to sign up a new Gardevoir because this one has a bunch of damage on it, I can attach with two Secret Springs to that Gardevoir. And it just can attach to itself too. So that means, at most, I can attach like a fairy energy per turn. This is just with one Gardevoir. A fairy energy with this, and I can attach a GCE. That means I'm doing 90 damage with its second attack, Infinite Force, which does 30 damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. And Twilight GX, which allows you to shuffle 10 cards from your discard pile into your deck. That's really good. Yeah, Infinite Force literally does 30 damage for each amount of energy both on both active Pokemon. Well, that's just for one single energy. And you're sweeting for a ton. And Twilight DX is a Garbodor killer. Like, seriously. You have 10 item cards in your discard pile. Oh, they're doing 200 damage. They're laughing at you. 
Oh yeah, hold on. Let me just Twilight GX. And then the Garbodor has no point then. Also, if you're playing Drampa Garb, they need um they need three energy for Andrampa's Berserk. And the, I'm just saying if you're planning against a player who's attached committed three energy to the Drampa for Berserk, and you if you have three energy on Gardevoir, you're knocking out that Drampa. So you're taking two prizes. And Gardevoir has a pretty bulky HP at two thirty. So I think it's gonna be good. Uh, so as you guys can see, three three Guard of War. Notice three. Well, here's just one of the times where I'm going to put an uh, animated card on screen. And their magical card has a premium on screen, which is also, which is a Gallade from Breakthrough. Gallade from Breakthrough is, um, well, it's a secondary attacker, I guess. So it has an ability, uh, Premonition. Look through the top five cards of your deck, and you may rearrange them. So that's pretty good. That's a pretty good card. That's a pretty good ability. You can you know shuffle them around and see what you're gonna top deck next turn. It also has an attack called Sensitive Blade. It does 70 damage and it does 80 damage more if you've played a supporter this turn, which is 150, and if you've used a Choice Band, which is 180. This does really good against Darkrai. I mean, seriously, you're killing Darkrai's with this. You don't even have to play a. You you would have to play if you play supporter. You're knocking out Dark Rise. It's so amazing, and it's a great it's a great secondary attacker. And all it needs is a DCE to attack. So, I mean, it's pretty good. Next, we're gonna go back to real cards. Uh, we have a one one line of Remoraid. Um, I just used the Wild River Remoraid. Try to get you know get out of the active. That's kind of what you want. And that's not we're really looking to see. I mean, why would you want to see Remoraid? Like, that's no, that's just no good on its own. But it evolves into the new Shaman Octillery. I mean, it's not as good as Shaman, but it's kind of replacing it. Once you're in turn before you attack, you may draw cards until you have five cards into your hand. Hmm, five cards, huh? Does that sound a little bit like Premonition? You can look at the top five cards in your deck. Well, let's say I have three cards in my hand, right? And I have five cards left in my deck. I can use Premonition to get the two, let's say I need two cards, like a Guzma or something. I can use Premonition and Abyssal Hand to get those two cards, and I can choose which cards I'm going to draw, which is really good with Octillery. That's why they work so well together. And that's why I'm just running a one-one line of it. Plus, this helps my Flood say I get end of two. I can just play the cards I need and draw. So, and this is basically an end killer. If you get end, you don't need to worry, unless you're under ability lock, which we can fix. Next up, we are playing one copy of the new Burning Shadows Diancy. Now, this card is really, we're going to be, really be using this for our, its first attack. Sparkling what? Shoot your card from a deck, shoot your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon, put that Pokemon, put it onto the Pokemon that evolves it. So, this is really using in situations where you have a Curlia out, right? And. You need to evolve it, and you need to get a Gardevoir GX for next turn. Even if that Dianti gets knocked out, you have a Gardevoir ready for next turn. So it's definitely something you can think about. And this, I mean, this this is before, this attack is before, you know, your opponent goes. So, I mean, it's useful. Very useful. Next is, um... Sorry, I don't have any more Lele's. All my Lele's in my other decks. I'm playing three copies. Top of Lele GX. By now, you guys should know what this does. I play it in all my decks. Should be in every deck. Ability, Wonder Tag. For, um, when you play this Pokemon from your hand into your bench, you may search your deck for a supporter card and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Energy Drive. This is really good because you can attach a bunch of energy to Lele with Guardi. It does um, 20 damage for each energy attached to this Pokemon and the other active. So it's kind of like Gardevoir's attack, it just does 20 and doesn't use weakness. And finally, um, top of Cure DX, which we can't use, so we will not pay attention to it. I'm sorry, guys. I just made a quick cut because I made realized I made a teeny mistake. You played two Lele's, not three. I realized my number was wrong. Sorry. 
Um, play two. Two lay lays. Okay? But yeah, Topic Cure does nothing. So I don't... I mean, it does something, but we don't have any psychic energy in the deck, so why would you care? But Energy Drive, you can attach, like, with Secret Spring, and this... Once this card, like, once the opponent's active has some damage on it, this could take lives. Le hashtag Lele takes lives. Put it in the comments if you see it, and, it'll make, and I'll reply to your comment. That'll make me happy if you guys put hashtag Lele takes lives in the comments. Do it. And finally, our last Pokemon in the deck is also a new card from Burning Shadows. This card is the third legendary, and it's making some games about him, but... He's got a good card. Necrozma GX. It has 180 HP. It's a psychic Pokemon. It has an ability called Light's End. Prevent all damage under this Pokemon by attacks from colorless Pokemon, which is amazing if you're playing against Drampa or Tauros or something. Although Tauros isn't used that much anymore, unfortunately. It's secondary attack. Um, I don't want to focus on it, because I want to be doing a, a deck around it, so just kind of pull up on it. I'm pretty sure I'll do a deck around it if you guys are. Also, um, put something in the comments so you get to put Lately Takes Lives, and I want you guys to see. I want to do a vote. Do you guys want to see a Drampa Garb deck, or would you guys like to see a Metagross Necrozma deck? So put it in the comments below which one you guys would like. Anyhow, we're going to look at the GX attack now, which is Black Ray GX. This is 100 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon GX and EX. A hundred damage! That's a lot of damage! It puts it in a range of Gardevoir only needs three energies for most new energies. Three! And it's taking them out! This is how good this card is. I love this card in Metagross. I love it in Gardevoir. I love it in all these decks. This deck is so... This card is so good. Very, very good card. And that will be it for a Pokemon. So... As you guys can see, the deck is very heavily ability oriented. Without abilities, this deck has some problems. But because you're using, you're losing Lele, you're losing um, Gallade, you're losing Gardevoir's ability, you're losing basically all the, you're losing Artillery, and that's a ton of abilities. Like that's like what the deck's built on abilities. So you're losing all of that, which is unfortunate. But if you guys do watch the World Championships finals, um I my last video did get taken down because of some things. I'll just put it in the um description. I don't want to put any footage in the video cuz they did take it down. I don't want to get my video claimed. I work really hard in these videos and Pokémon, I don't want them taking it away from me. But you guys can see how it was the, the TCG Masters Finals. You will see a uh, Garbotoxin Garbodor locking down Gar uh, Gardevoir. And you can see how he played around it. He played a wonderful job. I think it was, his name was Diego. He did su Diego did such a good job of playing around it. And if you guys want to know how to play around Ability Lock, he's the guy to go watch. So now it's the supporter lineup after me blabbling. Our first supporter will be Professor Sycamore. Um, I don't know what's wrong with the lighting, guys. I'm sorry. But something's wrong with it. Uh, discard your hand. Draw four cards. Seven cards. Uh, both aggressive support in the format. Four cards. Four copies of it. We need it for the guard board gear stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to go through the supporters pretty fast. You guys have all seen to do. Uh, I want to get more to what the deck does in a later game. Items. Um... Next are four copies of N. Um, each player shuffles his, his or her hand into the deck, then draws a card for each of his or her remaining prize cards. It's good um, early game, shuffling your hand into your deck, getting new cards, late game, disruption. And also, if someone ends you or you have like one prize card left, um, you always have artillery, and you can always you draw more cards from that end. So. Sorry, I dropped something. Um, yeah. YouTube's hard. <laughs> so, yeah, have three copies of Guzma. Your boy, Guzma. Guzma's so good. 
Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with one of their active Pokemon. If you do, switch one of your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Gooseman's becoming a staple, and I have three of it in the deck. Um, it's really good. Dating Pokemon I'll have damage on them, so that way Guardi can hit them harder. Next supporter will be one copy of the Her Majesty Isarola. Uh Put one of her Pokemon that has any damage counters on it, and all your cards attached to it into your hand. Basically, this is to get like a damage Guardi or something damaged that's going to get knocked out next turn into your hand. So that way you don't lose that Pokemon. The Ace Roll is really good in really tight situations. Um, it was used in the Pokemon Worlds. Um, as I keep talking, watch that match between D that Diego match I was talking about. I'm going to put it in the description. Bridget. I'm going to copy Bridget. Um, this is really good. You need this Lele turn one. This is what you want. Lele, Bridget, and you want to get... Either like a Ralts and a two Ralts and a Remoraid, or some other things. Yeah, that's basically what you want to get. And finally, we have one copy of Skyla. This is something you can Lele into to get like a rare candy. This is a very versatile card. Uh, next, first for the items, we are playing the uh, item that makes this deck tick, which is four copies of rare. Candy. Um, this this is one that hopefully needs no explaining. Choose one of your basic Pokemon play. If you have a stage two card in your hand that evolves in that Pokemon, put that card into basic Pokemon to evolve it. You can't use this card in your first turn, so this is basically getting our vaults into our Gardevoirs as quickly as they possibly can get there. And letting those um Pokemon get on the board quicker. Which I mean basically you guys don't know. That's gonna let our guardies get out. And sorry about the background noise. Um, it's gonna let our guardies get out quicker. Next, pretty standard. Four copies of Ultra Ball. I know one's a World Championships. I just my other Ultra Ball was in my Metagross deck. I have like 15, but they're all my other decks. But yeah, so discard your hand. Search for any Pokemon. Let's get any Pokemon we need on the deck. Next, um, three copies of Choice Band. Choice Band does 30 more damage, which is just basically another energy and Guard of Force attack. Speaking of Choice Band, sorry guys, I'm to make a quick cut. As I said, there's 30 more damage for um, to active EX and GXs, helping us pick up knockouts with Glade, uh, Tapu Lele. And also, it gives us a nice little boost with Gardevoir. Next, uh, two copies of Field Blower. Very common card. Uh, this will help us get away Float Stones, stadiums that we don't like. Um, float Stones on Garbodors, tools, choice bands that are knocking us out. Other important things that might help swing the game in our favor. Next up, we have one copy of Rusty Stretcher. Or you choose one, put a Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand, and shuffle three Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. Um, this is really good just to get some, like, some of your Curlias or Raltzes back, or maybe even Gardevoirs. This is helping us get any Pokemon we need back in the deck or into our hand. That's in the discard pile, at least. Um... Yeah, we'll go with this one. We'll go one copy of Professor's Letter. Um, this is help us get some energy cards in our hand. Just secret screen. And this is a nice little tech in here. This is probably the super spicy tech. So, super spicy tech. There. Yeah. Hopefully some big graphics came around on the screen. But yeah, this is basically going to help us get our energy in the hand. It's This is probably, this is not a card that's in all the lists. So I, I guess that's why I made it the super spicy tech. So, yeah. It's really cool. Definitely, it's really, it's really clutch sometimes. Like, you Skyla for this and get some energy. That's really nice. And the last of the items, but not least, is Super Rod. Which is choose three, shuffle three of any combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard pile back into your deck. This is basically saying once a Gardevoir gets knocked out, we shuffle the energy cards back in our deck. And we can get, like, Gardevoir and two energy back in the deck. And then we can Ultra Ball or something like that and get them back out. Next is three copies of Fairy Garden. I only have one copy of Fairy Garden, but just bear with me. 
Each Pokemon that has any uh, fairy energy and attached to it uh, has no retreat cost. This is helping us switch around. It is uh, probably the best stadium for Gardevoir. And that is going to be it for everything. Um, so, I'm just going to get into the energy count really quick. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 fairy energies. Mess. And also we have 4 DCEs. So guys, um, that's basically the deck profile. Um, so, I'm back. Uh, this deck is a great deck, and I don't think people understand how good it is yet. I mean, everyone does understand how good it is, but the deck's gonna kind of change going into the post-rotation, because, I mean, people are, people are gonna be playing a lot higher energy decks because of stage twos, so this deck is gonna be even more powerful than it already is. I mean, it just won worlds, and it's not even at max power. So, I mean... I mean, obviously, people have an argument for saying VS Seekers in this deck for Sycamore going crazy is better. I just still think the post rotation thing's better because the matchups will be better for it. So, thank you everyone for watching. If you liked it, leave a like, um, comment, and please subscribe. Um, our views have been amazing lately, but I, mean, I got 100 views in the last video. That was awesome. I, I want to try to see if we can get 20 likes. Let's get, try to get 20 likes in the video. You know what? Yeah, 20 is good. I'm joking, guys. You don't have to like the video. I'm just trying to do one of those crazy like goals things. Haha. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys really enjoy my content, subscribe. I try to put as many videos uh, out as I can. Deck profiles will be coming out soon. Um, I have a uh, Drampa Garb one in the works and a Volcanian EX one in the works. So, thank you everyone for watching the video. You guys all mean a ton to me. And, well, this is the Alolan Clasher, signing out.